Hello and Namaste to everyone on my channel. Today, in this video, I am going to discuss one of the sample answers of writing task one academic from Cambridge book number 15 and the tax uh, okay the tax is writing tax one and and it is the let's say test number four of the same book so in this lesson i will be giving some ideas on how to plan and how to structure or how to report uh, writing tax one when there are two different figures and we'll be talking about the planning and we'll also be learning about how to compare and contrast the data as given in the figure so let's see i'm going to uh, let's say share the screen here okay hope this video will be very helpful to you i guess Uh, you see here the tax four test uh, test four tax one and two is below. I'll be uploading this writing tax two at the end or tomorrow. And I I, I let's say wrote this essay on eighth July twenty twenty. And here you can see in the question that the chart below shows uh, what anthropology graduates from one university did after finishing their undergraduate degree course. This is about pie chart and what they did after their graduation. And the table shows the salaries of the anthropologist in Oak after five years. And then it shows their salary after five years. And remember, the table depicts or represent the different data and the table, it reveals their salaries. The chart or pie chart below shows what anthropology, anthropology graduates from one university did after finishing their undergraduate degree course. The table shows the salaries of anthropologists in Oak after five years. These are the two different data or two different sentences. And here we have this uh, pie chart and the table in the pie chart we can see six different categories or different let's say proportions or segments or indications and look here summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons so relevant right at least 150 words right 150 words des uh, destination of anthropology graduates from one university we can see the highest proportion, 52% of the anthropology graduates, they worked as a full-time, okay, full-time, or they worked in a full-time, the highest 52, and on the contrary or in the sub 15% of the graduates worked in part-time work, worked as a part-time work, okay, we'll be writing, and then see another one, 12% that is unemployment, 12% they remained unemployed. And 8-8, this 8% is um, full-time postgraduate study. And this is unknown, 8, eight equally. And the lowest, they were part-time work plus postgraduate study. So just analyze this. We have to report this pie chart separately. We have to compare and contrast in one specific detail. Remember, we cannot compare data of pie chart to the, pie, the data of the table. We need to separately or individually or differently compare and contrast. We'll be writing one paragraph for this pie chart and another for table. Look at the table, salary of anthropology graduates after five years work. Type of the employment, freelance consultants, government sector, private companies. 
three okay five five percent freelancers in government sector okay government officers or let's say five percent fifteen percent eco local 40%, 30%, 40%, 50%. We'll be writing these freelancer uh, consultants in government sectors. Uh, okay, we'll be making comparisons because they have equal numbers in these two cases and just 10 differences in last second. And our last two one will be comparing and contrast. Private sectors, 10, 35, 25, and 30, the lowest overall. So we'll be writing uh, in this way. Now let's move after we plan. Our plan is to compare and contest data of table at once in the data of table in the second step. And look here, we have two sentences in the introduction, but IELT or let's say British Council and IDP examiners, they always prefer only one sentence introduction. So I have uh, done the same. Look here, okay, let's go to this sample answer. And my sample answer obviously gives the entire image of these figures. The examiner doesn't need to look back to the figure. So we have to write precise and very clear sentences. Look here, step one, paraphrase the question. The two diagrams I have, let's say, combined. Two diagrams give information about the career prospects of graduates with anthropology. That is about pie chart and their salaries after five years of service correspondingly. So respectively, this is question paraphrase. In the two diagrams give information about the career prospects of graduates with anthropology and their salaries after five years of service correspondingly. So here, this is the paraphrase. The chart below shows the anthropology graduates from own university did after finishing their undergraduate degree course. The table shows the salaries of the anthropologist in work after five years. So this is exactly the same. I have redraw, but I have just written two sentences in one sentence. So I particularly suggest you to follow the same technique when you get two different sentences or two different figures. After the introduction, I'm going to Okay, I'm going into another step. This is step two. Step one, paraphrase the question I have done. And step two, compare and contrast data of the pie chart only. So here, as shown in the pie chart, just over a half a percent of graduate means 52 are there. I have paraphrased just over a half a percent of graduates engaged in full-time employment. This is the first sentence, full-time 52. Now, just opposite of that, in contrast, that I have highlighted with yellow color, only 15% of them were part-time employees, comma, while 22, sorry, 12 percent of graduates remain un unemployed. So 12, they remained unemployed. Also in postgraduate studies and unknown occupations accounted for 8% for each. So here I have taken 88%. This 88% here, and how how have I reported this? Also, in graduate studies and unknown occupations, accounted for 8% each. Comma, while the lowest at only 5% of them were engaged in part-time work and postgrad study simultaneously. So read the uh, paragraph again as soon in the pie chart. Just over a percent, over a half a percent of graduates engaged in full-time employment. In contrast, only 15% of them were part-time employees, while 12% of graduates remain unemployed. Also in postgraduate studies and unknown occupations accounted for 8% each, while the lowest, comma, or at only 5% of them were engaged in part-time work and postgrad study simultaneously. So I have fully reported all the data of the pie chart. Now I'm going to report the data of the table in the second third step. Step three, compare and contest data of the table only. Remember you can compare the pie data pie chart and table each other. 
you have to compare and contrast simul let's say differently and now the table apparently shows that both freelancers and government employees had similar salaries they had similar salaries starting with 5% of each earning $25,000 to $49,990. They were 5% each. Here I have written each 5%. Now I'm going to write 1515. After this, 5% of each earning $25,000 to $49,990 and 15% making uh, 50,000 to 74,990s. So I have taken this 5% and 15% of both of these or both of uh, them together. I, and I have compared salaries of 75,000 to 99,900 were given to 40% of freelancers. Look here, 40% of freelancers, they earned uh, 75 to 99,900. And then look at another 40% of freelancers and 30% of government workers. In case of government workers, they were 30%. I have also reported this. Now I'm going to make one short sentence about 40 and 50. Uh, okay, then the O is over uh, one lakh dollar government employee uh, employees were fifty percent and freelancers lower at forty percent. Then I have reported working on freelancers and government sector. Now the last category is remaining, that is the private one. So I am going to write it privately because it is quite different here. Ten here, thirty five here, twenty five and thirty. We compared because five five percent of each they accounted this 15 15 this 40 30 40 50 so here and now i'm going to contradict from this to the last one however is the uh, let's say coercive device that indicates the opposite data graduates working in private businesses have the lowest salaries as 10 percent on 25 000 to 40 9 000, 9 000, 90. 35% made 50,000 to 7999 and again 25 on this and 30% received over 1 lakh dollar respectively. I have written only one very complex sentence 10, 35, 25 and 30 respectively. So look at the table Okay, and does it give the meaning or not? The table apparently shows that both freelancers and government employees had similar salaries. This is comparison, it's starting with 5% of each earning this month and 15% making this month. Uh, salaries of this month were given to 40% of freelancers and 30% of government workers. Then for always, or wages over one lakh dollar government employees were 50 percent and freelancers lower at 40. however the graduates working in private businesses have the lowest salaries as 10 percent on this month comma 35 made this month comma 25 percent on this month and 30 percent receives over one lakh dollar or this million is called in english i guess respectively. So I have fully paraphrased the question and I have compared and contrasted the data of table, sorry, pie chart in the first step and table in the second step. Then in the final step, I'm going to write the overall. Overall here, listen to me. If you watch YouTube videos, the tutors or the YouTubers, they write overall in the second step, but the British Council examiners, they write overall at the end. I also follow the same methodology of writing strategy by the British Council examiners. They do. I follow British Council examiners. Now I'm going to write the highest data of the pie chart and highest data of the table, nothing much in the introduction, sorry, overall. Overall, the majority of anthropology graduates worked as full-time employees because they were 52%, so majority. And the highest proportion of anthropologists worked in the government sectors had the highest salaries. The highest earners were in government sector. 
So the number of votes here is 10787, and this obviously goes for band 8, 8.5, even 9. So here you can see, okay, step by step, you can pause and look at this and get more information how to plan any structure and how to report this, uh, let's say, essay within 20 minutes. Here is the data of the table and in how I paraphrased and reported my writing and how I write Ben A. J. essay. So I, at the end, I think that this lesson will certainly be fruitful and very effective to you if you are really preparing for your IELTS test. I would particularly ask you to subscribe my channel and write your valuable comments on the comment box. And I would also uh, ask you or request you to share and like my, like my videos. And I'll also be uploading, uploading more videos on other segments in the days ahead. And have a good day and good time and have a good preparation. Bye and best of luck. Thank you very much.